Hey you guys, today we are going to be talking about sessions. What is a session? Now this is one of those where it seems kind of intuitive and it may not really, you may not even be watching this video until you have a very specific question about a session that needs to be resolved, particularly when it comes to GA4. So let's talk about what is a session. Well, first, in order to understand a session, we need to understand users and we need to understand people in general, right? What is, what is a person? Without waxing philosophical here, let's talk about how the internet knows about people. Well, the most common way of identifying a person is going to actually be by their device, right? So I am me, and I am on a computer. I'm on a laptop right now, I'm on a MacBook Pro. So like two websites and to the internet, when they see me on my MacBook Pro, they're going to give me an ID and say, hey, XYZ123, that's the ID that's gonna be stocked in on his MacBook Pro. If I visit the same website on my phone, then I'm gonna look like a separate person. Still me, still the same person, but I'm now two different people, right? According to different, you know, tools and things, especially with GA4, because people or users are really devices. And so here's me, this is me on my device. And so what I do is I'm going to go and I'm going to visit a website, right? So this is our website and on the website, I'm gonna visit a bunch of other pages, lots of different actions, including finally purchasing. All of this is my behavior. I went and did that thing. What happens if I come back tomorrow? right? If I come back tomorrow and I do the exact same thing, you know, this, this product we're buying is popping and we need, we need more of it. So we come back and we do the exact same thing um, there and we buy again, right? So technically, because I'm on the same device, because I came back within a certain time frame where I could still be identified as me on that device and I bought again, like both of those actions are gonna be associated with me. However, they both do not belong to the same session. So a session is my behavior scoped to a certain amount of time. It's all of the events and the interactions that happen within a certain time period or certain conditions have to be met. So for example, if we're talking about GA4, the uh, default session time length is going to be, what is it, 30 minutes. So if I come from my phone, let's say I clicked on an ad, maybe this was a meta ad right here, so we have our little meta ad, boom, boom, and I'm visiting a website and I do a bunch of stuff, then as long as I'm not inactive for 30 minutes, all of these these interactions, these, are, these lines now represent interactions, those are events, right? All of these different things are going to be associated to that one session. So this session is going to have an ID. So it's gonna have a unique ID. What that also means is that the details about where I came from, for example, are gonna be scoped more to that session, right? So if we're looking at this session and we say, okay, at the beginning of this session, where did I come from? What was my session source? Well, in this case, it was meta, right? The next day when I came back uh, again, this one was from an email, right? So now if I was to look here, my session source would be an email. This is ID one, this is ID two, these are session IDs. And so session two came from an email and session one came from a meta ad. So which one of these is my user source? Well, if I was to look at user first source, then that would actually be meta because I came from meta first at when my, on this device, and so that was the, my session last source is gonna be email. Okay, well, still me, right? So what happens if I'm now on my laptop? So still me, still me, now I'm on my laptop and I come again through an email and I go to the website and I do all those actions and then I buy, right? Boom, boom. Um, so now this is obviously a new session. The session source is email, but guess what? this ID is now going to be ID number one, right? So we are back to being recognized as a new user. Even though it's physically me, we are on a new device, right? This is our new device. This is not the website, <laughs> this is our new device. So now I'm on a laptop, I look like a new person, and therefore 
I have a different, like my sessions restart, my new session is ID one. My session still has the concept of like session source and all those things. But now because I changed device, we have that being different. Let's take a quick look inside of GA4 to know what this could look like. So actually here I am on our website. Let's go to like, uh, let's go to a page called Dagos. And I intentionally did that because oopsie poopsie, that's not a real page. So let's come in here, let's add a quick little filter. And I want to be able to see all of the data associated with me because I visited the Dagos page. So we're going to have various different events here. We've got a first visit event, we've got a session start event, and we have our page view event. We could see that the URL is indeed our Dagos. And uh, most importantly, what I'm trying to extract here inside of BigQuery is this concept of a session ID. So all of these different events, all the things that we did on a website, all of these interactions, these are called events, all of these are gonna be associated with the same session ID because the session contains all of the things for that. So here is my session ID. All of these events belong to that same session ID. You can see this is not changing. And then in GA world, the user pseudo ID is more like my device ID, right? Right? So my user pseudo ID is going to be this ID. Here's going to be one user pseudo ID. Here's going to be a second user pseudo ID. So right now when we're looking at a single user pseudo ID, it could have multiple sessions. But one session, you can't have multiple user pseudo IDs. And so when we're talking about session, there are some nuances, right? Because there is a timeout. Let's say you run a training program where you where you want people to watch videos, right? So by default, you they have 30 minutes. If someone is inactive on your website for 30 minutes, then when they come back to their website, you will actually have a new session ID. So you'd be ID three in this case. That can be adjusted inside of the UI, but it is one consideration. So when we're like, depending on the answer you wanna know, right? Depending on the, the, the buying cycle, depending on how long it takes people to buy your products, right? If you're e-commerce and you want people to buy immediately, right? See my ad, buy my stuff, that all likely happens in one session. So you could use your session source of Meta or Facebook and what was my session conversion rate as a really good indicator of how well your performance marketing is doing. If you're selling hot tubs and people are gonna be coming back and visiting your site and no one's really buying a hot tub off of an ad, then you might have to want, you might want to look at the session based off the user pseudo ID. What is my first user source medium? What is my last user source medium? And that sort of thing. Another nuance that can happen with sessions inside of GA4 is what happens if you come from an ad. Okay, so let's create a new little session timeline here. What happens if you come from an ad? Okay, so we have meta here and you go to the website. Here's our website, right? But then you opt in for something and you go to a thank you page. And then what happens is you receive an email saying, hey, thanks for opting into our thing, right? So here's an email and the email sends you back to the site, right? If all of this happens within 30 minutes, then your session has not broken. Even though this email may have additional UTMs in it, your session first source was still meta. If you were to say session last source, it might be from your emails because during this session, you had multiple UTM entry points. And so your first source is gonna be the first one and the last one is gonna be the last one. If your session doesn't have multiple UTMs, then first and last are gonna be the same. But there, it is possible with GA4 to have multiple UTMs throughout a journey. So that is one more consideration there. There you have it. Hope you understand a little bit more about sessions now and do let us know if you have any questions.